Next teacher Rabbi LM Dumizu, Life Spirit of Amen came.com. Uh, Arabic is a Bantu derived language. The reason being that uh, Bantu languages are the oldest. Bantu speak or uh, even in uh, uh, Arabic, their popular name Ishmael, derived from the Torah, is Ishemuyeri. You know the story of Ishmael. There are some fundamentals that we need to put in place first. Uh, number one is that the Middle East and the monarchs uh, were created by Europe. Middle East never existed 300, 400 years ago. It was part of Northeast Africa. Just like the creation of the modern state of Israel, that's how the Middle East was created. Later on, scholars would come and they refused to say that uh, 300 years or 200 years or, 20, or, or even 80 years ago, there was no country like Israel. Number two, the original Arabs were black Africans and their totem was Udube and most of them are, the, are found within the Lwayo uh, tribe. The references for this you can find it in the Torah and study it. And uh, wild ass of a man. Which... The majority of modern Arabs are of European uh, stock. They came to Africa via Turkey. They also were there and left there by the Romans and the Greeks when they conquered uh, that part of Africa. They intermarried with indigenous desert African Berber tribes and today they are found in uh, Northeast Africa from uh, Morocco across the uh, north of Africa, Carthage, so-called Tunisia, uh, Arabia, Arabia, which is Libya today through Kemet, so-called Egypt, right into all those Middle East countries, Saudi Arabia, up to uh, Hindu Kush. So, we leave the linguistic mechanics, uh, and we shall come to them later. We want to give some common words, and please, let me say, these are just a speck of dust in a huge, vast area. Uh, I want to reference here the book crafted and researched by Dr. Professor uh, Gustav Katif his book The Bonafide Hebrews of the Books of uh, Moses shows and tells us and proves there is a dictionary there so the English word I for the organ of sight in Arabic is Aini A-I-N-I -I -I. in Bantu is Ona Eating or eat is akara, that's Arabic, and in Bantu is kara, which also means greed. A glutton in Arabic is akal, and in uh, Bantu speak it's anokara. When you want to call yourself in uh, first person singular, I or me in Arabic is ana. And in Bantu, it's ani or ini. When you want to speak about being beautiful or elegant, in Arabic, it's anaka. And in Bantu speak, is akanaka. There are so many hundreds and hundreds of such words. And when you study and look at them, you just see that because the Arabs borrowed this language from Bantu, they've lost a vowel here and changed another one here and there. When you want to say possess or to possess something in Arabic is atara. In Bantu speak is atora or tora. When you say when you want to say let's go in Arabic, it's ashab. In Bantu it's ashambe. When you want to show that he creates or makes something new or gives birth or all that is in Arabic is bara. In Bantu speak is bara. When you want to say is a germinated has come up, in Arabic is badaha. In Bantu speak is buddha. When you want to replace something, in Arabic is badala. And in Bantu speak is badara. When you want to speak about people or, 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 or humans, in Arabic is banu or bani. We know this word now is banu. Or Bantu. That's the, that, that's the word we know. When you are walking with a limp and you are limping, in Arabic they say Kadama. 
and in Bantu speak is Kamina. If you are talking a speech like what I am doing in Arabic is Kalam, and in Bantu speak is Kuluma. When you want to talk to me, I say in Arabic you say Kalimini, and in Bantu speak original language is Kuluma Lam or Kuluma Lani. When you are saying it is now evening, in Arabic you say Naila. In Bandu speak is Ravira. When you want to speak about your home or abode where you, you live, you also say in Arabic is Mabaha. In Bandu speak is Mumba. If you are asking who, in a, a, Arabic it's Minu. And in uh, Bandu speak is Munui. When you are speaking about time in Arabic, it's Mikha. In Bandu speak, it's Sikat. Or it's appointed uh, a date, appointed time. When you are speaking about being glad and gladness and happy, in Arabic, it's Mufrik. In Bandu speak, it's Mufaro. When you pull back and you are not walking faster than others, in Arabic, they say Salah. In Bandu speak, it's Sara or Salah. When you are speaking of a phantom or, or, or a ghost or something, in Arabic is Shaba. In Bantu speak is Shavi. If you are swinging and you are swinging, in Arabic is saying Tadal Dala. In Bantu speak is Tende Reza. When you, are, you, you, you go lost or you are stray, in Arabic they say Taya. In our language, uh, proper Bantu, we say Taika. We also have to point out that because of the enslavement and the engagement in slavery, our cousins, the original Arabs, like Tibo Tibo, engaged in slavery. And in Tanzania, there was a place called Bagamoyo, which was a point of no return if you were being taken into slavery. And they, they also sold us to other people in Europe. So this is a exactly what we have come to conclude that arabic original arabic is a bantu language subscribe to this channel and tell others thank you goodbye